Hello, this is the first video in the tool tray on shape tutorial here. And we're going to start with creating a new document, naming it. There's going to be several parts that we're going to be building here. We're going to start with the handle as our first part. So start your sketch on the front view. Right click, view normal to the sketch plane. Our sketch is going to start with a corner point rectangle at the origin. And that rectangle is going to have a width of 1 and a height of 1 fourth. Check that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and 3D orbit a little bit so I can see uh, my three dimensions. Okay, I'm going to extrude that rectangle 9 inches. That's the length of my handle. And check that. All right, great. I no longer need my, or, uh, my uh, planes visible, so I'm going to hide those just for now. And I'm going to create a sheet metal model or convert this to a sheet metal model. You'll see the benefit to that in a little bit. Sheet metal model is right here. And we're going to go through this list. We need to set this up first. So parts and surfaces to convert. This is the part. And it takes that rectangular solid and it creates uh, pieces of sheet metal here. It looks as if they are all separate, but that will be fixed very soon here. Faces to exclude. We want to exclude the front face, the top face, and the back face. You cannot click the back face from here because it thinks you're clicking on the top. So let's orbit around to the back and select there. Okay, so faces to exclude are good. Edges to bend. If you take a look in the corner here, it looks as if this is three separate pieces of sheet metal. We don't have three separate pieces. We've got one piece that is bent on these two edges. Okay, now yours, your, uh, the rest of your details need to be the same as mine. So let's just go through those real quick. Uh, we've got thickness. The thickness of the metal uh, is 24 gauge. So it's not measured in inches thickness. It's, uh, sheet metal is measured in gauge. So uh, that converts to 0 0.0276. So that makes it quite a bit thinner. Bend radius, make sure that is 0 0.01. And those are the only two things that you should need to change. Let's check that. Uh, back up, and we're going to next place a couple hems. So in your sheet metal tools, drop down, or if they're along the top, we're going to find hem. And we're selecting the top two edges here. Now red is usually not a good color. And the issue here is the total length here of the, of the hem. It's set to one-fourth. Uh, but the thickness of the metal is interfering with that. So we're going to change from 0.25 to 0.24. See what that does. Perfect. So it, it does let us create that hem. Now in the shop, when we're making this, we are going to use a quarter inch hem, but this is just kind of a minor detail to make it work for us in Onshape. Let's check that and move on to the next step. We're going to name our part one. Now that we have that created, we're going to name that handle so that we can keep an organized feature tree. OK, we are going to create next a couple flanges. Select your flange tool, and let's set it up first. Uh, the distance of that flange is going to be 1 half. It is going to be a bend angle of 90 degrees. So once those are set, let's click on front and back edges there and check. All right, so this is looking really good. Last step on the handle is to put a hole through those 
flanges. So let's start a new sketch. Select your front face here and then view that normal to the sketch plane. And we want to place a center point circle. Uh, let's just place it anywhere. I don't want you to be locking on to too many O snaps other than the midpoint of the top line. So we're hovering over the top line and we're just bringing our mouse down. I'm not clicking, I'm not dragging. I just located that, that O snap, that object snap, and I'm moving my mouse down. Okay, no other snap should be active. I'm gonna left click and create that circle. Now the diameter, before you do anything else, before you deselect from that circle, we're typing 1 8 enter. And that'll give you a dimension on there. All right, let's take a dimension and place it between the midpoint on the top line and the center point of the circle. We want that to be 1 fourth, and that looks good. Okay, the sketch is done. 3D rotate here a little bit. And I'm going to extrude that circle. I want to extrude it all the way through. Perfect. And let's check mark that. So that looks good. Let's just check out our uh, sheet metal layout here, our flat pattern. And if we were to create this, when we create this in the shop, this is exactly what uh, it's going to look like unfolded. So we would need to cut a piece this size, and it's telling us where we need to fold, where we need to cut out, where we need those holes to be. Uh, so this is very useful when we go in the shop. All right, so this piece is done.